The SPCA Wild Animal Rehabilitation Center in Michosan wants to thank the more than 100 people who have come forward to help a picky pelican. The pelican was rescued from Manitoba where instead of flying south, she became stuck in a Canadian winter. She was in rough shape but is starting to turn the corner and thanks to one giant donation in particular, she's now getting a lot to eat. Meet Pelly 26, formerly of Manitoba, now calling Wild Ark in Michosan home. She's very comfortable in there now. She's got a pool. Uh, she has a little hut that is heated, so it's not quite the Gulf of Mexico, but she really does like it. She almost didn't make it here. Pelly was part of a group of pelicans that for some reason failed to fly south this winter. They were found in November in the freezing cold and she is the only survivor. Pelly was taken in by Wildlife Haven in Manitoba but needed a pool so was flown by cargo plane to Michosan. She was underweight certainly uh, and her feather condition was pretty poor. We had to syringe feed her which means uh, semi-force feeding her, uh, which caused her a lot of stress, and so we did it as quickly as possible. And unfortunately, for the first while, she upchucked. Soon, she was able to keep food down and gain a bit of weight, but with her returning appetite came a craving. She likes smelt, and, and that is a fish that is not not your average fish, so we are very, very lucky to have had some donations. When Victor Fairholm at Blue Water Bait Company heard the story from his wife, he knew he could help. Fairholm happened to have more than 360 kilograms or 800 pounds of smelt he was willing to donate to the picky pelican. We don't do a lot of Little League baseball games and things like that. We can only take on so much. And what we like to participate in is the Pacific Salmon Foundation or operations that uh, do, you know do a benefit to uh, uh, wildlife. Many others cleaned out their freezers to help, and if all goes well, Pelly 26 could be back where she belongs by late spring. We will be keeping her until uh, late spring, I would say maybe May, and then she will be shipped back to Manitoba to join the flocks coming back from the Gulf of Mexico, hopefully integrating with the wild flocks, and I think hopefully right back into the wild again.